Yeah, well, Bianca, some of the people I talked to say that restorative practices can be effective both as a preventative measure and hopefully a turning point uh, for some students who have violated the code of conduct. The practices give an opportunity for students to build strong relationships. Plus, it also gives them a chance to talk about what happened and how the school system can help them in managing their own behavior better. Tammy Hayes has seen firsthand some of the emotions her students are dealing with at Lakeview Secondary School. We have a lot of students with a lot of um, trauma, a lot of home life issues, a lot of things that they're experiencing. We know that there's been a lot of deaths of youth in the community, and these are our students' friends and family members. So when they come into the building, they need to know that we care. Some of the difficult emotions highlight what's changed in student behavior since the pandemic. Durham Public Schools has seen a rise in incidents of student misconduct, according to this graph that shows the number of secondary students who were given long-term suspensions has increased since 2018-2019. When you have suspension, it is strictly about this is the rule, you have no voice in the rule, and here is your consequence. Dr. Laverne Maddox-Perry is the district senior executive executive director for student support services. She says what's different about restorative practices when it comes to student discipline is that there's a time to reflect. So it would be, you know, something as simple as tell me what happened. I like to refer to it as the Larry King method. Um, tell me what happened. And often what you find is that people begin to open up even more than if you were asking them very targeted questions in another way, more punitive, accusatory way. So it allows for reflection while still providing for accountability. Durham Public Schools is rethinking its discipline policies with some people hoping restorative practices remain top of mind. And when they do make mistakes and their behavior is not appropriate, there are times when you do have to, to do, punishment is important. You know, you still have to have that in place or consequences, but you wanna make sure that you're checking back in with that student, that you're having a conversation. And so the school system is very supportive of restorative practices, according to Dr. Maddox Perry, who's continuing that discussion tonight with the board. Uh, I saw that one of the recommendations is uh, to have trauma informed training for staff and also including de escalation professional learning uh, for all schools as DPS considers the next steps.